Hello, it's me, Jess. Welcome to my channel. I'm here with another channeled message. This is a specific message. It might resonate with you. It might not. All right. So when I went to tune into this message, I heard, ugh, my stupid mouth. So I feel like this person is really regretting something that they said either to you or about you. And I feel like this is just replaying over and over and over again in this person's mind on repeat because it gave you the wrong impression or it gave somebody else the wrong impression. And they feel like whatever it was that they said was, I'm hearing the word offensive, but it's like, okay, it was offensive, but I feel like this person may have gone on the offense. I just heard offense is the best defense. So this person, yeah, offense is the best defense. They could have tried to offend you as a way of like, I feel this person said like the exact opposite thing that they meant, but it offended you in some way, whether they said this to you or whether they said this about you to somebody else. I think this person was trying to hide their heart and hide their emotions and hide how much they really actually have feelings for you real like heart-centered feelings for you here in some way because this person they are a people pleaser that's really what i'm getting and i feel this person is kind of starting to unravel this for themselves like why do i do this why did i say this um, i feel like it had some kind of consequence here you could have withdrawn yourself from this person it put you at a distance or again it got them in with the wrong crowd because that's what i feel like is a part of the karmic lesson this person is learning around people pleasing and i say this with the utmost of compassion because i'm a recovering people pleaser myself i feel like a lot of us are but when you're people pleasing essentially when you kind of boil it down it is overriding your own authenticity in certain moments in order to go with the crowd or to not be seen sometimes to not stand out in order to in order to be liked right we all have done this in certain moments i just feel like this person kind of leans on this as a crutch because they want to be liked there is a strong insecurity here i feel like this person maybe they want to be funny or they wanted to receive some kind of a laugh or they wanted to be positioned socially in a way that they felt they wanted to be seen. And so there can be this detached energy between their mouth, I literally heard my stupid mouth, and like their heart and their brain and what they actually think and what they actually feel because that's part of why this person is kicking themselves because whatever it was that they said that was offensive, again, offense is the best defense here for this person is what they're saying. Um, they didn't actually feel that way or they didn't actually think that way. And so this person's kind of like, well, why do I do this? And they do this in order to fit in but i feel like this is a repeat experience for this person because i'm picturing like a social situation where like the conversation or the energy in the room even like the laughter or something here it like builds and builds and builds and then um when it reaches the culmination i'm just seeing people like turn and look at this person like oh what are they gonna say like are you gonna get in on this because i'm kind of watching this person watch the energy build and build and then it's like people are like oh what are you gonna do and i feel in those moments it's like a part of the karma that they're trying to bring this cycle they're trying to break this pattern so i feel like they're supposed to say what they actually think or distinguish themselves from the crowd in some way um not be afraid to disappoint people because the other thing is people tend to actually really not like that people pleasing energy people don't respect it people will kind of push on it to see how far they can you know get you to go and maybe that's a thing with this person where people have kind of noticed this that you know if this person's with one group their opinion kind of changes and that they I feel like people kind of push on this space here with this person and they're trying to break that habit or break that pattern. But I feel like in this moment and probably in others too, but like in this moment, when it came to you, this person just caved and then they said like the stupid thing. And I feel like this person immediately regretted it. So if they, if they said it to you, I feel like you kind of immediately shut down or you just like pulled your energy away and it put this person in like a fearful state because this person actually like really loves you. But if this person said this about you, well, actually, either way, I'm kind of getting this sense, oh gosh, that this person had already done something or they had already said something. I think for most of you, this person did something. They were on a real roll with you and that word roll is sticking out. So maybe this person like pinched your roll or something or like, I don't know. Um, but they were on a real roll because I feel like this person had already said or done something that caused you to feel like pain or to withdraw your energy from this person in order to heal or um, just to get your energy right. And when you pulled your energy away, and I, I think this happened before this person 
whatever this person said that's like plaguing them, I feel like this happened before that, right? So you had pulled your energy away. And when you pulled your energy away, because this person actually loves you so much, um, cause I'm seeing a card from one of my decks in my mind. It's like, um, the, your true love is already a part of your life. And I feel like you are this person's true love, or they have like a kind of true love for you. And I feel like they're trying to master this space, like within themselves to honor that, like the loving feelings that they feel. Cause at the end of the day, this person really does feel it's weird, but I want to say like ashamed of being seen as like having feelings or being tender hearted or something. It makes them feel exposed or maybe they feel like they're going to be picked on or something. But anyway, so they've, they've turned it and they've gone on the offense. They've made fun of you or, or something here, maybe because this person is afraid of rejection. That's, I feel like they're afraid of rejection. So they kind of weaponize this rejection energy against people that they like. I don't, I don't know. Um, but anyways, this person already done something where you had to withdraw your energy and then that pushed them into their shadow self. And there's a lot of fear in their shadow self and they were really sweating it. Like when you moved away. So I feel like that's when this message, I like, that's when they said the, the stupid thing. And it was like, again, on the defense, because actually I'm hearing the song, Your Body is a Wonderland by John Mayer. I think he has a song called My Stupid Mouth too. So, um, oh my gosh, I'm pretty sure it's been a while, but, um, and I'm pretty sure they're on the same album, which is called A Room Full of Squares. So I feel like there could be a room full of squares here, or this person doesn't want to be the square in the room or something. Um, but I do think I'm seeing this person in a square room, which I live in America and a lot of the rooms here are square. I think a lot of the rooms everywhere are square, but anyways, um, they're sitting and they're kind of like thinking and they are reflecting. Maybe this person is feeling empty or they're really like feeling your absence here. They really actually feel alone. That's what I'm getting is like this person feels alone in a crowd or alone in a room full of people because that people pleasing behavior, this is another part of their karmic lesson. It's, it aligns them with the wrong people because it's not people that, you know, Again, if, if you say your opinion or something and like a group of people doesn't like you because of that, you're probably not meant to be around those people, right? Because we all distinguish ourselves in certain ways. We're meant to distinguish ourselves in certain ways. So this person is essentially like, they end up around karmic energies that they don't actually fit in with and that they don't feel seen by and all of that because they're not expressing themselves. And then they put actual soulmate energies like you, they offend them and they, um, degrade them and they put them at a distance. So it's a really, uh, ho I just heard horrible karmic pattern to break like on a soul level. And it's important that this person does, um, there's marriage energy between the two of you as well. So I don't know if you were married to this person. Um, or if that was like the, you felt like this was headed in that direction or maybe it has like that kind of potential, but yeah, anyways, um, like I was saying, I feel like this person actually feels, um, I'm hearing that song, your body is a wonderland, which is all like, a it's a very cute song. The song is like one long compliment to this girl that he's like writing the song about. And it's, they're kind of in the love bubble at the beginning stages of their relationship, but you don't have to be in the beginning stages. This is like a really a genuine connection. It's like there's friendship here. There's lust, there's love. There's all of it. You've got all of it here. They're, you know, I just get this image of them like smiling and rolling around in a bed, like just the two of them, it's the love bubble, right? And you have to protect the love bubble. You have to make Make sure everybody feels safe and everybody feels secure and that when you're sharing your body and you're sharing the breath like that you're doing that with a person who loves that and respects that you know and honors that and i feel like this person um knocked that in some way and so for some of you this person may have made a comment about your body like either to you made you feel unattractive for some this person was like with a karmic maybe this was an affair or maybe this person again they're hanging out with karmics so they could have been with a karmic and maybe the karmic knew that this person um, had feelings for you, they sussed it. They already knew. And, um, that this person like really liked you and they liked you for more than just your body. But then I think they were maybe comparing their body to yours. And so they could have been saying certain things about their body. Um, and then this person felt like they needed to degrade you and like knock your body, maybe even to like a group of people. I don't know. This is like very, it's betrayal energy and this person knows it. And so, like I said, they replay this over and over and over and over in their mind. Um, but they felt that I keep going back to that song, your body is a wonderland. And I'm hearing like the lyrics. Um, I love the way your hair falls in your face. I love the shape you take when falling toward or crawling towards the pillowcase, the shape, this person loves the shape of your body. So I don't know if they said something to you about that, or they could have reduced you down to your body, you know, like just talking. Yeah. They didn't mean it, mean it. So that's standing out to me. Like it was mean and they could have reduced you down to like an it or talking about your body as if, you know, it was just like a thing and not attached to you, a person that they really love and care for. For some of you, you could have been sick. Like you could have gotten an illness or you were recovering from something and this person could have made a comment about it. 
Um, and, but they didn't mean it. Like this person didn't mean it. So they're learning a big karmic lesson here. And I feel like you're somehow involved in this because this person disrespected you and they should not have. And they miss you. And I think they could have been missing you actually, like whenever they said this comment, because like I said, for some of you, this person was on a real roll in disrespecting your energy. And um, so they had already said or done something that you had to pull your energy back in order to rest and uh, recuperate and find balance here. And um, just to love yourself or to take care of yourself. And then this person like lashed out. They, they went on the defense, but it was because I think maybe they were feeling rejected or... Um, they were feeling defensive. And I think they were defensive about their heart space because they wanted everything with you. This person wanted like the stability or maybe they had it. And then, yeah, this caused some kind of like karmic formation to happen. Like it put, it put a wedge between the two of you. It definitely did. And it made you kind of, I feel like it put you at a distance. Yeah, so that's what I'm getting. Um, this person is feeling really regretful and it haunts them. And I feel like this person feels embarrassed. This person feels embarrassed about the person that they were when they said that. And there's something about the mirror effect of whoever they said this to. Again, that could have been you, but this also could have been a single other person or there could have been a group of people involved. And I feel like this could have gone two, like one of two ways because for some of you, this person said it to get a laugh, you know? Um, and maybe they just said it off the cuff or they were, they told themselves like, oh, well, it doesn't matter. And so even just hearing these people laugh, like at your expense or, because they feel protective of you, especially if you were sick or something. Like, um, they should have been protective of you in that space. That's what love would have done. And this person has that position in your life or would like that position in your life um, where they're protecting you and your body and your family that you would have together, your home. And they, they want to be a per like participating in that in that way. But they, they didn't and it haunts them. Like these people's like laughter or um, that they left you vulnerable and open to attack and that they encouraged it in some way. But for others of you, I think this went the entire opposite way where they said it to a person who, even if this person didn't know you and wasn't friends with you, they're like, oh no, we're not about to do that. There's a standard of how, the way that we speak about people. And again, because it's, um, yeah, like, yeah, maybe this person thought that it was going to get a laugh or that that was what was expected of them. But somebody else was like, what's wrong with you? Like, you know, you're friends with that person or you're dating that person. Why would you say that behind their back? Like, you know, so this person has like embarrassment. I just heard secondhand embarrassment, but it has to do with the mirror effect of like whoever they said it to and whatever reaction they got. Um, and, and that is also tied in with their feelings for you here as well. But it plays like on repeat over and over and over again. And I'm seeing this person just like twiddle their thumbs and not know what to do about it because I feel like this person feels like you're their true love and they need to go slow and maybe that you needed to go slow and um maybe they they want to they actually want to take their time with you is what I'm getting like they want to take their time with you they want to get to know you they want to get in an easy space with you and laugh and have a good time but I feel like this person did something that just made you have to you couldn't have a good time you know you can't relax um around around this person um, maybe this got back to you. For some of you, you might not know about this, especially if this person said this to somebody else, but I feel like you would already have been upset and withdrawing your energy about something else here. So that's what I have for you. If that resonated, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Bye guys. <laughs>